This is a scene we don't want to revisit. Flash flooding washing across the metro, sending cars floating down streets and damaging homes. Now the Metropolitan Sewer District is asking you to pay to manage storm water. First Lord Force Shoshana Stahl is in studio with us tonight, breaking down what this means and how it could impact your neighborhood. Shoshana. Corey, there are two ballot initiatives MSD has for this April election, one focusing on stormwater, the other on wastewater. People we spoke to in one South City neighborhood say it's improvement that's desperately needed. There's nowhere for the water to go. Catherine Grindle has been living in Boulevard Heights for the last three years. She says every time it rains, she's on edge. Not only does the water come through the walls because there's so much of it. It comes up the sewer and then it comes down the, the stairs as well. Flash flooding is something we've seen across the metro for years. On Mother's Day last year, Grindle's basement filled with water. Anything that had been sitting on the floor was was floating. There's no inlets here on the street because of that. Grindle says anytime there's rain, water is just flooding the streets because there's nowhere for it to go. That's something MSD is looking to change. It's happening in the city. It's happening in the county. Um, it's happening in most neighborhoods. Bess McCoy with MSD says the region's stormwater systems aren't capable of handling the amount of rain we're getting. That's why Proposition S is on the April ballot, focusing on funding stormwater projects across the metro. We could start helping to uh, move people out of floodplains, uh, install storm sewers where they don't exist, like in this neighborhood, um, stabilize creek banks that are experiencing erosion to the point that homes and businesses are threatened. If voters say yes to Prop S, it would cost the average homeowner about $25 more a year. MSD already pinpointing 500 stormwater improvements needed throughout the metro region. Grindle's neighborhood within the first 10 projects. It's something she says they need desperately and is willing to pay. That would be well worth it. And that's not the only thing on the ballot for April 2nd. There's also Prop W, which is all about wastewater for the next four years. It's work required by the federal government to be in compliance with the Clean Water Act. If you vote yes, that would make the average homeowner's wastewater bill between $60 and $75 a month. If you vote no, the average monthly bill will range from around $75 to $105 a month. MSD will hold more public meetings before the election. We're going to have the details on that online if you have any questions or input. Corey? All right, Shoshana, a lot to watch there. Thank you. New